everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so beetle sent over this new kit for me to try out and this is their brand new sculpted acrylic tips and nail glue set their tip x instant apex nails and i am so excited to try this out if i'm remembering correctly i believe i saw a comment in one of my previous videos of someone letting me know beetles launched or released their tip x instant apex nails and i was just super excited and then beetle sent this over to me for me to try and i I am very excited to dive right in, check everything out that's in this kit, and then of course the main focus being the actual sculpted acrylic nail tips, which I am very excited for. Recently I've been loving the sculpted Apex full cover nail tips. I think they are super cool, and now that Beatles has this kit, this is very exciting. So like I was saying, this is their Beatles Tip X Instant Apex, and they are a sculpted nail tip. And then down here you can see these are half matte and they are the long coffin. So let's jump right in, open this kit up, and see everything that is included. So the first thing that we have in here is the application guide. And this talks about the nail lamp, and then we also have some pictures and step-by-step -step on how to apply these nail tips and then also we have some questions and answers and then also the warning information the next item that we have is the base gel and this is a 7.5 ml bottle the next item is this little mini file and buffer. I wish this was a little bit larger, but it's okay because honestly with full cover pre um, like shaped nail tips, you really don't need to do much filing to begin with. So I feel like overall this is a decent size and we do have the file on one side and then the buffer on the opposite. The next item that we have is the Beatles Nail Glue Gel. And this is actually going to be the first time that I'm trying the Beatles like solid glue gel in a tube. Um, this isn't like a non-stick solid glue gel, but it is a lot different versus one being in like the glue gel in a bottle, if that makes sense. I also really appreciate that this does have a precision point that makes things so much easier. And honestly, I really can't wait to try this product, let alone this kit in general. I am very excited for this. The next item that we have is the Little Beetles Flash Cure Lamp, and this is their flash sensor one. I really like this one I've talked about it in previous videos but you put your finger in and it will turn on and then when you remove your finger it will turn off which is really nice and then of course last but not least we do have the tip x instant apex full cover nail tips and like I mentioned in the beginning these are half matte and the shape long coffin so of course I had to open these up because we need to take a look at these nail tips a much closer look should I say so they are all out on this little strip here and there's I think total of five one two three four five there are five strips and I just want to check these out. I am going to pull off just the largest size here just so you guys can take a look at it with me. But here is the overall shape. The shape is nice, giving that really nice coffin, long coffin. And then we do have that pre-etched underside. So here is just a side view. I hope the camera is picking up. It's almost like a magnifying glass if I'm being honest. I don't know why it's really like that. I think it's probably just the way that the nail tip is made, but that apex and sculpture is really nice on this nail tip. The free edge is also like very sturdy. I mean, these nail tips in general, like I can hardly bend them whatsoever. Even the free edge, like I can't really bend that either, but you can see that it does have a very nice thin, um, Oh, I called this the free edge, but I meant the cuticle area of the nail. It's still very, very thin. So when you go in and actually apply that nail tip, you're still going to get a very seamless and flawless transition. So it is still really nice that it is thin there. And then you can also see from the side profile that it is like thinner here. And then it starts to go up into that like apex and giving off that structured look. So overall, these nail tips are very strong. They're very sturdy. You can, of course, clip these down. Keep in mind, if you're going to clip them down and cut like them really short, you are going to be cutting into the actual structure and the apex of the nails. 
so they might not look as nice just because it will be thicker at the free edge. I have tried cutting um, other like pre-apex nails in previous videos. This isn't my first time trying this type of nail tip, but I have really liked it and it's definitely interesting and I can't wait to actually get these applied. These are very similar to other ones that I have tried. Um, they're very strong, they're sturdy, they have that etched underside and then the apex area is really nice. I am curious though how these are going to fit on my natural nails. Something that I have noticed with like the instant apex nails, they are better for people with flatter nail beds. And my nail beds, they are flat, but at the same time, they do have a little bit of curve to them. I honestly can't tell you for sure if these nail tips are going to work for you because everybody's nail beds are different so really it's just about trying it but if you do have very curvy or very curved nail beds more than likely these nail tips won't work for you just because they are much intended for um, people with flatter nail beds but I will just give it a try and see how things go. I also believe that the measurements are available on the Amazon listing for this product, so you can definitely check that out as well, just so you know if the nail tips are going to fit you before you do purchase. So off camera, I did go in and prep my natural nails, and I just applied a peel-off base coat. And I actually, quickly before I begin, I wanted to ask you all, I've actually been growing out my nails a little bit, and I had someone comment asking if I could do a nail set on my natural nails for the people who do like just doing it on their natural nails. I don't think I've ever done that on my channel before, and I definitely am open to that idea, but I would love to hear your suggestions and if you guys would all like to see that video. So feel free to let me know down below in the comment section because that is something I'm open to doing and because my natural nail growth is getting a little long I kind of want to clip them down but that is a good video idea and I would really like to do that so please let me know down below in the comment section if you would like me to do a natural nail nail set instead of like adding on any extensions just putting the gel directly onto my natural nails but now let's jump in and I'm going to size out these nail tips again something to keep in mind these nail tips are designed for people with flat nail beds. So if you do have curved nail beds, more than likely they are not really going to work for you. I kind of luck out because even though my nails are flat, they are a little bit curved, but these nail tips do still work for me, which I absolutely love because these nail tips are just so nice. I love how you can have that sculpted look, but have a very quick and easy nail set just applying some full cover nail tips using gel versus sculpting out acrylic or poly gel. So that is one reason why I absolutely love these nail tips because it's so quick and easy, but the end result, if you love like that sculpted acrylic look, you're still going to be able to achieve that but just a lot quicker and easier because these are just full cover nail tips that you can apply using gel. So I did get all of my nail tips sized out and these fit me very well. I now have this nail glue gel and then I also went ahead and plugged in the flash cure lamp and we are ready to apply these. I'm very excited to try out this glue gel. This will be my first time trying this nail glue gel in a tube from Beetle, so I am excited for that. But I'm just going to go in here and I like to just kind of go in with the tube of gel and squeeze some lines into like the nail tip. I generally do about two to three lines of gel. Keep in mind when you are using a thicker gel product like this, a little bit does go a long way. And then I just go directly in like I usually would by applying that nail tip, pressing it down, starting at the cuticle area but not on, and then slowly lowering it until the gel has reached the free edge of my natural nail. Once the gel has reached the free edge, I will then just pop it into the flash cure lamp. And one thing that I really like about this little mini flash cure lamp is because it does have a sensor, so I don't have to worry whatsoever about turning it on. I just apply the nail tip, pop the nail tip into the flash cure lamp, and it automatically turns on for me, which is really nice. So far, I am really loving this gel product. I like the consistency. I also really love the precision point. 
squeezing it out into the nail tip is very easy to do. And again, just keep in mind, a little bit of product does go a long way just because it is a thicker consistency. So you really don't need that much product into the nail tip. But overall, I do really love it. And then after I am finished with applying all of the nails and doing my flash cures, I will go into my larger nail lamp and do a full 30 second cure to be sure that everything is fully cured. Now that I have all of the nails applied and I did do my full cure, I'm really loving this nail glue gel from Beatles and then also these nail tips. They are very, very nice. I am going to go in with my filing and buffing first just because like I was saying, they are almost like a magnifying glass for some reason and it's a little bit hard to show like the apex and the structure, but after I buff over the surface, it will be a lot easier for me to show. So I'm just going to go in with the little hand file and buffer that was provided in this kit and just go in and file and buff. So here are the nails after I'm finished filing and buffing and now it is a lot easier to be able to see that very nice apex. You can also see that the nail tips are very nice, um, seamless and flawless. They look so beautiful and just I cannot get over that sculpted look. It literally looks like I took acrylic and sculpted out my nails, but in reality, I just applied some full cover nail tips using gel. Very quick and easy and I love the result. These are so gorgeous. If you have flatter nail beds, I 100% recommend trying these out. Uh, you will not be disappointed if you love like the sculpted apex look. These are absolutely gorgeous nail tips. They are also very strong and sturdy as well. Like I was showing in the beginning, it is like very hard to bend these nail tips. They don't really have much give just because they are very nice and sturdy. The shape is also really nice. I hope in the future they um, come out with some different shapes and lengths. I would really like to see some shorter ones and some longer ones, of course, different shapes as well. I was actually thinking if I could turn these into an almond nail shape and how it would look. I was kind of a little tempted on doing that, but I did decide to pass just because I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out. But I do really love these and now I am ready to move on to the gel polish design. So I do have these gel polish colors and this is from the gel polish set Nude Paradise which is a Beatles gel polish set. It does include some gel polishes along with a base coat, glossy top coat, and a matte top coat. And I am just going to be using I think um, two of these colors today maybe three, I don't really know. I kind of have an idea in mind. I did see a Instagram reel for a cool flower nail look that I wanted to try out. I know I've been doing a lot of flowers, but that's kind of the time of the year and I think they are so pretty. And this one kind of just caught my eye and I may try it in today's video. Either way, I am going to start off with a nude base. And these two here are really catching my eye because they have some glitter in them. I just don't know for sure which one I want to use yet. So I'm going to take a look. Oh my goodness, this is a hard decision. I think I'm going to go with this one here. It's a little bit more of a nude, like a mauve pink nude. And this one is just a little bit darker and deeper. So I am going to go with this one here, which is E018. 
and I'm going to be using this color on all of my nails and I'm going to go in with two coats of this so I can have a very beautiful nude base and I will cure for 30 seconds in between each coat. So here are the nails after I have two coats of that gel polish applied and this color is absolutely stunning. I love how it's like a jelly look. You can build it up. I did only do two coats but I could definitely go in with a third just to build it up a little bit more but I absolutely love this color. The glitter in it, there's like holographic glitter so I'm, I'm going to try to remember to get a like end shot with flash because I know this color would look beautiful just because all of the glitter in this gel. But now I'm going to go back to that flower design that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. I am going to give it a try and see how it turns out. If I don't like it, I will come up with something else. But because I did see this on Instagram, I will go ahead and insert the video. That way I can give credit to the original creator. And of course, also so you guys understand what understand what I am talking about. But for the flowers, I am going to be using E014. And this is from that same gel polish collection. It is a very beautiful, almost like a dark pink purple color. And this is what I'm going to be using for the flower petals. And then for the center, I'm not really sure yet. I may end up using this one here, which is like a milky white but I'm not really sure how that will look on the nail or how it will look on top of this color. So I'm just gonna go in with the flower petals first and then I'll figure out the center color after I see if this is going to work. So in the video, the creator actually used, I'm pretty sure a regular like nail lacquer, nail polish, but I'm gonna try this with gel and see if I can get the same result. So you will need some gel polish and then you'll also need like a little sponge. This is just like a little makeup wedge that I'm going to use. So of course I'm going to put some of this out on a palette. They just use the brush, but I feel like I'll be more comfortable with using a dotting tool. So I'm gonna put some of this out onto the palette here. And then I also have a dotting tool. Now this is a quite large dotting tool just because I feel like with this design, you wanna have a good amount of product on the nail. That way when you go in with the sponge and dab up the product, you'll get the result that you're going for. So before I jump in, I am gonna take a lint-free wipe and just wipe off the sticky layer from these nails because I am going to be using a sponge. I don't want to really get any like lint or fuzz on the nails so I am just going to wipe off the sticky layer from all of the nails first then I'm going to jump right in and start so I'm going to take my dotting tool with the gel polish and I'm going to go in with the dots on the nail I am going to put five dots and try to have a decent amount of product with every dot Then I'm going to take the sponge and just dab it on the gel polish. Oh my goodness, no, it took it all away. How did I know that was gonna happen? Maybe because this color is almost like a jelly color. Let me like paint it on this nail to look. Yeah, that's probably why, honestly, because it's more of like a jelly color. Like you can see like it's not really super opaque. So let me look back through my other gel polishes from Beatles and we're gonna attempt this again because I'm pretty sure I can get it to work even though I'm using gel. I just think this color is not opaque and I think that's the problem. So while I was looking through my Beatles gel polishes, I did find this one, A. 
839 and it is a very bright pink gel polish and I think this one's going to work out perfectly but while I was doing that I also did check back on the video and I found that I actually saved another one too. I think it was a different artist doing this one but I'll also have this video up on screen and they did almost like the same exact concept but instead with fruit and I thought it would be so fun to do flowers and also strawberries. So I'm going to attempt the flowers first and see if I can get the flowers and then maybe I'll go in with some strawberries as well. But I think this pink is going to work a lot better. It's definitely more pigmented. It isn't a jelly pink. So I'm just super excited. I'm ready to try this. So again, I'm gonna take my dotting tool and go in and put dots for the flower petals. I'm really hoping that this time it does work because I feel like it is a very beautiful design. And then now I'm going to take my sponge and just dab it gently on the nail. Oh my goodness, it worked. I wonder if I could go in like with this again. I'm kind of scared, so I'm gonna do it on this nail. Oh, it kind of worked, it's just much lighter. Oh my goodness, it worked, that is so pretty. So I am gonna wipe this nail and then I'm gonna go ahead and cure this because I do like that. So that looks very pretty. I'm now going to go in and just repeat the same process. This time around, I am going to try a little strawberry. So I'm just gonna kind of draw like a little strawberry shape and then go in and tap it. And then of course I'll add on the detail. And then I'm also just going to go in with another little flower down here. Oh no, I think I messed that one up a little bit. That's the only problem. You have to have like a very light hand with the sponge and make sure you go like right on top of it because if you don't go right on top of it, you will of course smudge it. So this is very beginner friendly, but at the same time, it does take some getting used to.
Here are the nails after I have the flowers and strawberries. I know it doesn't look like much, but now I'm going to go in and add the inside to the flowers and I did decide to use a yellow to do that. And I'm just gonna do the same process just by adding in a dot to the center of the flowers. And then I will go in with my sponge to kind of like bring out that color a little bit. Oh my goodness, look at how cute that is. That is so adorable. I can't wait until I add on the little stems on the flowers and it's or on the strawberries and it's just going to bring this whole nail set together. Now for the little strawberry leaves, I'm going to be using a green and I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use the smaller side of the dotting tool. And I'm also still going to sponge this out just because I want everything to blend with the nail set. And here are how the nails are looking. This was so fun and easy to do and I absolutely love how it turned out. Something very simple but yet still a very cute nail set. I'm now going to go in with the Beatles top coat and I'm going to apply a layer of this to all of the nails and then I will cure for 30 seconds. So here are the nails after I have that top coat cured and I did go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera just repeating that same exact process and honestly I can't believe how easy these nails were and how cute they turned out. Like I absolutely love them. They're so adorable. I'm now going to go in with my cuticle oil. I'm going to apply that to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them and of course like I always say top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of these nails. Like I was saying, I absolutely love how they turned out. I think they are super cute. And here is just another look at the beautiful apex and the structure on these nails. Absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend trying out this Beatles Tip X Instant Apex Kit. I will have everything that I did use linked down below in the description box along with any discount codes that I may have. But here is just the finishing shot of how these nails turned out. I also definitely recommend you guys trying out this like little nail art hack. All you really need is some gel polishes, a sponge, even just regular nail polish. It's super easy and you get a very beautiful result. I will also be adding in a clip of these nails in low lighting with some flash just because of this beautiful nude gel polish base. I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.